Seafood. And in this video, I'm going to show you a totally free, super efficient, and very effective way to study for your state water treatment operator or water distribution operator certification exam. I have a podcast which is entirely free, and you can stream it from the website at www.watersifu, spelled S I F U.com. It's in iTunes under the Water Sifu and you can also find it in Black in the Blackberry store. A lot of people listen to this podcast, and the other day I got an email which prompted me to make this video. I'm going to go ahead and read this email. I'll cut out all the pertinent personal information of the person who sent it to me. Uh, Hello, Ty. I just wanted to email you and say thank you so much for your very informative website and podcasts. I only wish I'd found your website and podcast sooner. My exam for the treatment one is this Saturday. And I'm quite nervous as to what will be on the exam and if I'm studying the right material. I've completed the self-placed, self-paced California oper what? California Sacramento Water Operator course, which has so much information. I was feeling a bit overwhelmed, but after listening to your podcast, I'm on the fourth one now, that's four out of twenty-two at the time, I feel a tiny bit more prepared. Anyway, just want to thank you. Oh, by the way, love the name of the website. Gotta read that last part, right? because nobody else even understands what Sifu means. If you're curious what Sifu means, go to the site. There's a couple of problems with that email that got me thinking, I have to do this video. One, they didn't know the site even existed until it was too late. And two, once they got to the site, they didn't really know the best way to navigate it. So I'm putting this video together, A, to make you aware that there is a very easy source to help you train for this exam in the most efficient manner. And two, a and 2, or A and B, I forget what I started with, anyway, and B, let's go with that, <laughs> B, once you get to that site, I want to show you the most effective way to navigate around that site. The site solves a big problem. First off, when a lot of people decide they want to go for certification exams, they don't even know where to start. They don't know where to go to apply, they don't know what courses to take, they don't know once they take that course what to study, how to apply for certification, or the entire process. So the site will tell you all of that. Another thing about it is the studying. Once you start studying, there's so much material to learn that you don't know what is the most efficient, what is the most effective, what, is the, what are the things that I need to study most, and the site will help you with that. Another thing is Let's be honest here. I've been doing this stuff for a long time and I really like it. But when you're first getting started and when you're studying this stuff, it can be boring. The first book I read, the, the book that she's reading now, which I actually recommend, I think it's the best place to start as far as a pre-qualifying book. We'll get into that later. But man, that was the best sleep aid I've ever had. I couldn't put 10 minutes into that book without my head, boom, falling into the page. And as you go through certifications, you're going to have to go through that book. But it's not the best way to study, in my opinion. And not only that, but it's hard to find the time. It's hard to find the time to just sit down and study all the time. So to have an audio podcast, an audio file that you can download onto your iPhone, that you can download onto your iPod, that you can put in your MP3 player and take with you on the go. You can listen to it in the car. You can listen to it in the gym. One of the guys I work with was even listening to it at work the other day, just in his ears as he was doing his stuff, getting ready for an exam this weekend. It's, it's invaluable. That's what I want to say. It's just invaluable. So, with that in mind, go check out the site, waterseafood.com. <clears throat> you might even be here already and seeing this video on the site, because this is going to become a where do I start type video. Once you get to the site, what's the best way to use that site. And I want to go through my podcast and explain to you the best use of your time. Starting with number one, we're going to start at the beginning here. When I first started the Water Seafood Podcast, I was going to use it as kind of like a weekly talk on the water industry. But as I began to do this, it got very obvious that my, my uh, podcast really quickly that focused on water treatment preparation or water distribution exam preparation, got by far the highest stats. So I morphed it to a treatment 
distribution, preparation, exam, and focus completely on that. So a couple podcasts in the beginning, you don't need to spend your time studying. If you have an exam coming up this weekend, podcast number one, an introduction, isn't you don't really care about me. You want to know what's going to be on that exam. If you're just getting into the industry, you're just beginning to get certified, you don't know where you start, that's when you want to go with number two. Number three and four, water treatment and distribution overviews. Very, very important to go over. This whole series, well, number five, women in the water industry, none of that's going to be on the exam. That's just, I think it's very important for more women to know this is something they can do. Six, seven, eight, and nine are what turned into my personal rant against water fluoridation. If you're interested in that, invaluable, but that's not going to be on the exam. And once you pass that, you really, really have to start focusing on things. Water, uh, water seafood number 10, biological contaminants and disinfection, that will be on both exams. That's treatment and distribution. Number 11, hard water, soft water, iron manganese problems and nitrification will is treatment and distribution. Government regulations, number 12, treatment and distribution. Water math. The water math is an introduction to a DVD that I have. I actually am putting out a second one right now, so there will be two in the series. The only thing I charge for at all, and you can find more information on that on the site or by clicking the video on the tab at the top of the site under it's either products or math. Uh, 14, passing your water treatment or water distribution exam the first time. You should listen to that right after this. There's also a video I have along those lines. That, I would start with that right after this video and then get into the rest of the stuff. Uh, audio flashcards, people like that. That's obviously treatment, only treatment. Drinking water supply, the first half of that will focus on treatment, the second half distribution. 17 and 18, trenching, shoring, and water main construction and distribution review flashcards. If you're testing for your treatment, you can skip those. 19, meters and valves. If you're testing for your treatment, you can skip those. Those are all distribution. 20, water chemistry, treatment or distribution. 21 and 22, water treatment techniques. And we also talk about well, water quality problems and treatment techniques, but that's a two-part series. Those will focus much more on the distribution end, but you can expect to see some of those things in treatment. And then the other two podcasts, 23 and 24, are going to deal with pumps and hydraulics. Those aren't out yet, but you'll see those on the site down the road. So... That gives you a little idea of where to start. And when you are going through this test, I want you to know what you can focus on. So focus on the appropriate podcasts. I want this to use best for you. If you like them all, listen to them all. I think they're pretty an entertaining way to, to learn. But if you've got a pressing amount of time, take into consideration that advice right there. In the future, just for the record, right now this is only going to be used for uh, downloadable training in the future there will be a way to get continuing education off this site and by the future I mean right now is November I'm talking within the next three months you will be able to come and use this site to fulfill continuing education requirements so if you're not on this site already and not started and if you're interested in getting involved in the drinking water industry I would prompt you to go to that site waterseafu.com that's w-a-t-e-r s-i-f-u dot com and get started. And we'll see you on the site. Have a good day.